Spending a night in Punta Uva, we hit the road, heading for our good friend Jorge's house. Jorge not only let us camp at his house, but also offered to be our tour guide while we were in Costa Rica. Jorge had also opened his home up to Leo and Alessandra, a Brazilian couple traveling Central America in their Defender. The next day was a Saturday. So after a traditional Costa Rican breakfast, we convoyed up and headed out to Vulcan Arenal. Costa Rica has about a million volcanoes, but Vulcan Arenal, the one we were headed to, is up in the northern area of the country. We arrived at the Lago Arenal Free Campground just as it was getting dark, so we quickly set up camp and then we made a communal dinner, which was a lot of fun. morning we were finally able to see what a beautiful camp spot this was and we got to meet the Land Rover Club that had invited us to their camping weekend. Nice place right? You, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. You didn't it's notice. Place. No, no, because it's there. Yeah. Who is this? This is Moon D360 and their Land Rover Defender. And they have their top popped. After we broke camp and said goodbye to the Land Rover Club, we took the vehicles and headed down to the lake for a photo shoot. Dropping off Leo and Alessandra at Los Airways Hotel, we returned south back to Jorge's house, where Tim went to the mechanic on Monday to get the bearing pulled out of the drive shaft. And that evening, we were invited by Jorge's Land Rover Club to go to dinner, which of course involved seeing a lot more Land Rovers. Yeah, uh, on the later years, the first two or three years, they used to have 1.6. All too soon, it was time for us to say goodbye, but as one last hurrah, Jorge drove with us up to Volcan Turialba, where his friend let us camp for the night. It was an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous blue sky day, and because we had that day and two classic rangers, we had to have a photo shoot.
And then it really was time for us to say goodbye to Jorge, which was very sad. We settled into our camp for the night. The next day we packed up, did a quick photo shoot with Reggie, and then headed north again. This is our campsite for last night. It is the parking lot of a hotel called Los Héroes. We came here the other day with Jorge and because he knows the owner. Really nice for a free place. We've got some other people here too, some campers. We are here in the northern part of Costa Rica. I just heard that El Salvador has closed the border to all foreigners. Guatemala is also restricting foreigners from Europe. So now we're wondering if we should just try to get to Guatemala before they might close their borders to everybody like El Salvador. As it turned out, Leo and Ale had to wait not only for their friends, but for some vehicle paperwork before they could cross any border. And so we left them there and we headed to another beach that Torre had told us about and that would get us closer to the border. It's not camping world, it's camping's world. We sincerely want to thank Jorge, his wife Carol, his parents, and the rest of his family for being so kind and welcoming and generous to us the whole time we were in Costa Rica. We really truly appreciated it. We'd also like to thank all the Land Rover clubs and Land Rover people that we met in Costa Rica. There seemed to be a ton of them, but they were all really nice. We also encourage you to follow Leia and Alessandra, Mundi360, a Brazilian couple who are traveling the world in their Defender and are most active on Instagram. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you are not already, and join us next week as we camp on the beach at Playa Rajada and cross the border into Nicaragua. As COVID-19 suddenly gets a lot more real for us.